The Horned Frogs will get us underway with the opening kickoff. On the move from inside is five. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. So Miami's return man heartily helped out the offense with that one. And this wide receiver, he's the linchpin to the offense. They want to make sure they find a multitude of ways to get him the football. And it's a risk-reward scenario on defense when you're trying to cover this guy, Reese, because you play man coverage, you risk him running by you and catching deep balls, you play too much zone, and then he can hurt you after the catch. A lot of different ways that this guy is very And he is snowed under, sacked at the seven. The Kings will hustle to the line. This offense already in the black zone, a little bit backed up. How do they want to respond? They come out to throw the football, be aggressive, and this defense was ready, and they got pressure on the quarterback and got a sack on the very first snap. Nice job reeling in that catch. And listen, when you say Miami Hurricane football to me, I think about burners at the receiver position. Michael Irvin, Andre Jones. And the ball is caught. He's inside the 35. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, Kings! And a really nice job by the quarterback. He drops back. He knows where he's going with the football. You can tell. He, he sees this guy coming from left to right, running that post down the middle of the field, throws it. Perfect timing to his receiver. He catches the football, takes it into the end zone. And they did tack on that extra point without any adventure. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. So the TCU Horn Frogs offense will try to get something going with their first possession. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. They get him on the ground at the 36 after a pickup of five. They'll snap it from the 36. They've got a first down. Defense in press coverage. Gonna run it. It's Cook. And the run is for no gain and no more time left on the clock in the first quarter. We've reached the end of the quarter and Miami is on top. We've put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Softened him up with the run. Now to throw. And the ball is picked off. Made that play and was hoping to make another one on the return, but they'll take it in business at the 41. Not the start this kid was looking for. Very first pass of the day gets picked off. This is a defense that's got a lot of ball hawks on the back end, and he's got to be real careful with his eyes, not telegraph throws like he did right there. He's going to have to settle in. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. To the air. It's Ward. Fires to the wideout. Got him downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. The clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. Going up top on first down. Let's it fly. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. They'll line up for a second down play. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. He's looking for an open man on second down. And the pass is incomplete, but it might not matter. Flag is down, and it looked as if the defense was roughing up that receiver. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. Trying to surge it in. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Miami! Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. 
And they close the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Clock is wound down. Just over 20 seconds to go before the break. They'll have it first and 10. He wants to throw. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. It's complete. A huge pickup. Touchdown, Hard Frog. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. If I'm a play caller nowadays, man, I want more guys like this. Just versatility. You can see he can catch it out of the backfield like a wide receiver, or he can run it. Nice job catching the football with his hands, using his speed to do the rest and get into the end zone. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. He'll come out throwing on first down. Looking to the big tight end. It is incomplete, and now there are four seconds remaining. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. Just enough time for one final play in this half. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. Looking to throw, it's Ward. He's going for a big play downfield. It's incomplete, and they tried to finish this quarter with a bang and couldn't quite connect. The Hurricanes will boot it away to start the second half. And he's coming out of the end zone. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. Tight game as we start the third quarter, and we'll see what type of adjustments they made at halftime. And getting the ball first here, I think, is such a big deal. Like, I get the first chance to make a statement, to make the adjustments, to create some momentum for my squad right here in the third quarter. Yeah, I think it's so important for this offense to set the tone here early in the second half, to get a nice drive going, build that confidence, and, and get your defense ready to come on out, get a stop, and change the complexity of this game. You've got a third and manageable, backed up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. From the gun, wants to pass. Grab near the marker, it's Cook. Makes the grab and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. And the Horned Frogs come to the line with a new set of downs. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. None at all. Great job by the defense getting in the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to go. On second down, he's looking downfield. Makes a man miss. And as they get him to the ground, clock running, looks as if time will expire here in the third. We've reached the end of the quarter, and Miami is on top. Three quarters are in the books. Time becomes a factor both in trying to hold the lead or cut into it as we take a look at the stats. Let's go. We've got this third down play to open the quarter. Looking to throw, it's Hoover. Find space on the right. And they're getting it rolling with that play to the 42-yard line. They'll use a timeout here. You have to be certain at this point in the game. Spits it out to the back. Not in lockstep there with the receiver. This Hurricane defense has been an impenetrable wall all day, not moving an inch against these guys. And it's a complete effort, Reese. It's the front. It's the defensive line. Own the work. And he ran away from the defense to take it in. Touchdown, TCU! What a massive play by this offense. Man, you needed it. Great execution. Now kick the extra point, tie this football game up late, or do you go for two? Do you go for the win? Do you try to take the lead? That is a you decision. And he takes this from inside the five. 
He's able to work his way on the return up to the 23 before he steps out of bounds. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. There's enough time to get the ball down the field here, David, but you've got to make sure you're... A Unloads it downfield. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge game in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Second down coming up. Quarterback checking off. Looking to throw on second down. Unleashes one. It's caught. And the big game, and they've got it on the 46. The offense takes a timeout with 30 seconds left. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Unleashes one deep. And he got a hand on it to knock it down in the end zone. Man, you know the defensive coordinator on that play was holding his breath because in the fourth quarter, you got one of the fastest players in the game going deep on you. And that's going to be a helmet sticker for somebody. Like, forcing an incompletion against that guy? That's incredible. Back to throw. It's Ward. He'll take another shot here. And it's knocked away downfield. The DB getting a hand in there. And the Kays will send out the punt unit. He ought to be able to use this first punt to pin him deep. Signals for the fair catch, and that's where they'll put it in play, just outside the 20. Opening play of this drive will come from their own 23. Here's the handoff. Got to be smart, patient, great vision. Uses all of that to get to the 29. These corners going to give them some space. Well, guys, let's play some more. Headed to overtime. And this just feels right. Both of these teams going back and forth. So, of course, David, this thing needs to get decided in OT. Let's see who's better. Short amount of time to do it. A couple possessions probably. Maybe one possession each. Who's the better team? They've got it first and 10 from the 25. Might as well give it to him again. Finds a little bit of room. Give him a couple down to the 23. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Gonna run it. It's Cook. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. He's looking to throw. A little screen to the running back. Plows through the defense. They'll try to strike first with a field goal in overtime. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. And with that, they've taken the lead. Down by three, it's their turn here in overtime. A touchdown will win it. Here's first down. To the air, it's Ward. Throws for the tight end. That is what we call in the industry a defensive breakdown. That guy was loose for the big play. Uh, busted coverage, uh, really, really bad execution. Somebody slips, somebody falls. Nothing about that defensively is something you're looking for, but the offense will take it and, and get the easy touchdown. 
I know how to sum up this game succinctly. That was fun, and what a victory to remember. Fun for them, fun for us, just the back and forth, uh, games that are so nip and tuck, and you know every play matters so much. These are the games that we love to call. Yeah, every play matters, David, and that's why coaching staffs practice overtime scenarios and situations throughout the week. It's important to drill these types of scenarios. You never know what games are going to go to OT, and when they do, you love to be able to